All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Attack, Attack on Titan, Titan. Season 3, Episode 3. Whoo boy! And, and we're both dressed and for the I occasion. And I'm dressed for the occasion! I was so surprised. Like, Caleb's <sighs> like, we're, we're getting ready to record and everything. You but know, I'm not wearing like, the hood. Well, wearing yeah, the hood. yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, there is no, no hood no. when they when they. Do you this. need to have like you know yeah, peripheral yeah. vision when you're fighting titans. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want one to randomly like grab your cable or something. And right, suck. right. We we listen to Armin's plan. Wait, no, we don't listen to Armin's plan. We don't. That's put right. Our yeah, up. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. We keep our grasses on. Yes. <laughs> wrong show. Wrong yes, show. Wrong show. But indeed. we are here, and there are a lot of treacherous things, things afoot yes yes mm -hmm. we have mr reeves rip reeves yep rip reeves He's he was ripped super by dead. The ripper. he was like brought in to be like mm, potential plot out. point remember this guy got game He's of dead. thrones yeah. or attack on titan yeah and you're dead right He's just mm -hmm. dead um yeah yep. but we have also this uh this curious group working within the shadows mm -hmm. and stuff that just yes. had one of their people squeal on them Apparently the rice, race family. Rice. I believe it's rice. Okay, well the E is before the I. Yeah, you guys can correct us or whatever. But the point race is, just is that doesn't sound. They're the royal family, the true royal family. So King Fritz was it? Yep. He's someone, but he's not the king. He's indeed someone. I mean, he might be the king. He might be. He does wear a crown. Right. That's a good point. You can have the king be like you know a face or something and they might be the one that's actually ruling like from the mm -hmm. purpose of the actual giving orders and stuff he has real authority but it might be given it might be you know sure bestowed by the true royal family ruling the shadows yeah. or maybe he's just the steward of gondor you know mm, like that. very possible who knows although i do like the the look of the guy because he gives mm. me this like this vibe of someone who's like an alchemist that oh. like like this he, is a long, he, straight he, hair. He, well, well, yes, but also the white robe. He, he he's like okay. he's like this close to being a Sith Lord, but now because he's not, you know, wearing black robe, that means he's an evil mm -hmm. alchemist who like drinks Doctor Pepper and oh, no, like someone that's like all into like, uh, I will like experiment with them to become immortal or something. I just the vibe he gives me. I oh don't yes, know. he's actually father. Yes, yes, sure. I, I'm yeah, just saying that we had the exactly whole weird cult with Ymir and wherever mm. she's from and stuff. I feel like we're going to unveil that the whole cult of the wall thing is like the 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 pleb level cult like involved in this whole thing. The real <laughs> cult is the one that like actually has power. And the wall people are like, praise the walls! Yes, the walls! And they're like, we'll let them be a proper distraction. It's the, it's like the, it's, is it like the, the whole uh, Creed quote? I've been in many cults, both as a member and as a leader. You have more fun as a member, but you make, make more, more money, money as, as a leader. leader. <laughs> All right, enough goofing around. Uh, looking forward to the group, uh, to Levi's squad, mm -hmm. kind of realizing what their next move needs to be now that they have killing people on the agenda. Like right. Like, killing human beings And since they just the extracted some good information from that dude that Hanji tortured very, uh, right. very proficiently. We need, we need locations, though, mm. because Aaron and Historia are kidnapped. Yeah. And they're important, one, because Aaron has the coordinate, and he's a freaking titan. If only if it was the proper kind of coordinate, where they could just, you know... <laughs> but... But also, Historia is basically like, like somewhere in the line for like the throne. Like she might be a Disney princess, Jacob. I mean, who knows? <laughs> I mean, it would be fitting then that she's with Aaron because you know he's always getting kidnapped, and so oh. you know, and then has to have the the the, the big oh. strong, yeah. big strong uh, I, I warrior thought, coming to save him. Right. I thought it was going to be a joke about him being a drama queen, and you know we have a queen and a princess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're having a lot of fun, but we're even more excited to have the dreaded fun of Attack on Titan. So without further ado, let's get into this. Mm. Curious. Oh. Oh, 
興味があったんだ。飛ばされただけでしたが母が私に何かをしたことを知っていたこいつを殺す勇気が私にあれば What the heck? それが母が私に優しい最初のこと私は初めて父と会いましたはじめましてヒストリア私はロッドレイス君の父親だ<笑> Is that Kenny? Yeah. 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 Look away, look away, look away. Wow. Oh, yep. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This is so messed up. Jeez. Oh my god. 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 そしてお前こそが人類を救うことのできる唯一の存在なんだよ。Uh, さあ、行こう。That's a bit hyperbolic, but... が始まった場所へ。お前、シーまさか、こいつらに喋っちゃいねえよな。俺たちの応援の忠誠心は。ああ。それさ、お前の声はもう聞きたくない。今までよくも俺を裏切ってくれたな。シーズ、that's so messed up. ラルフはナイフで脅され、私の作った作文を声に出して読んだ。That's just as bad, though. He's still gonna try and kill him. Well. Did you gotta do what they gotta do? Nick, you can't do what you gotta do. <laughs> wow. <Yeah>. Like, oh. <laughs> I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up, senpai. There was a cockroach! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Just one kick! Oh my gosh, so they're gonna. Oh, yep! Yeah, oh, I was right. I was right. Kimi must not have a bit of no. Kyojinga, so no, no, you call what's Ninga or Taberto, Ninga ni Motori. Sarah, yeah, I can no pseudo human ten eleven. Utsuva de Atte, Kokan Kanona Sonsainanda. Summary, Moshi O Sega Kyojin or Motte Reba, Eren was so it's in Kuareta. Oh, crap, so they already have a tight. Holy crap. I have so many things I want to talk about. Holy crap. Oh. Cool. Wow, alright. There you go. Let's just say it out loud. Yeah. If they had already talked about that, that's basically them just talking for us, basically, right? <laughs> like. Serious, Erwin. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, do tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Explain, explain. Yeah, at least. At least. Uh huh. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, Reeves, yeah. Okay. 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 
ヒストリアレースを女王に即位させます。血を流すことなく、王政の打倒が叶いますこれまでの体制は嘘であるという宣言これまでの体制は嘘であるという宣言と。いやいや、How do you communicate that though? It's still gonna look like a military takeover. お主の計画に乗ろう。ただし、実行するかどうか、それを決めるのはわしらではない。エルヴィン団長中央憲兵が団長に嫉妬を命じてます組織殺人の容疑だと騒いでますそれも町のど真ん中でハンジここから離れろはあどうするつもりなの俺は調査兵団の表の顔を通すお前は自分の判断に従って動く、oh, okay. 何を次の調査兵団団長は、oh, is you? ハンジゾイ、yeah. お前昨日ここでエレン・イエーガーがリーブスの部下たちに襲われ連れ去られたしかしそれは王政からのエレン引き渡し命令を回避するため調査兵団がリーブス紹介を使って企てた狂言だった<笑>うまい話を考えた、yeah, yeah, what a convenient story. いることはエレンの持つ巨人の力を私物化することと同義おやじチーズ Alright, well, this is getting a little bit political and dark. これでお偉らがとも満足するんじゃないか。残りはリバイたちだけですが。言ったろ。やつは追ってくるって。少しいいか。わ。しかし、トロストクが破綻寸前まで追い詰められたこの状況下では、町に踏みとどまり、あらゆる手を尽くして、行く当てのない人々を支援し、復興を目指した。この無念、私が必ず教員でした。OK、そう。その日は歴史を学びました。Oh, he was one of the people that probably 巨人から身を守るため、壁の中に行く。100年の平和を実現させた。何一つ残すことができなかった。誰もが教わることです。Yeah, conveniently. しかし私は、あることを疑問に思い、oh. 父に質問しました。父は私の質問にはまともに答えず、そのまま授業を終了しました。父は私の質問に答えたのです。王政の配布する歴史書には、数多くの謎と矛盾が存在する。なぜ父がこの話を教室で話さなかったのかを察せられるほど、私は賢くありませんでした。私が町の子供たちに父の話をし、その詳細を憲兵に尋ねられた日。父は家には帰ってこず、oh、遠く離れた町で事故にあって死にました、mm -hmm. この壁に逃げ込んだ人類は王によって統治しやすいように記憶を改ざんされた、yeah. それが父の仮説です wait, wait, wait. そんなことでも起きぬ限りはこの壁の中の社会は誠実支援からかはいなぜ父は真実に近づいただけで死ななければならなかったか王政の役人にも彼らなりの正義があるはずだと。彼らが守りたいのは人類ではなく、彼らの庭付きの家と地位だけ。むしろ、自分たちの権利が脅かされるのならば、その相手が誰だろうと排除する。父は人の持つ欲と、愚かな息子によって殺されたのです。そしていつの間にか、父の仮説は私の中で真実となり。Sudden development backstory of side character equals horrible tragic death. The formula is old this time itself. Wow, wow. Look at this.、Mm -hmm. Jeez. Uh -huh. Holy crap. <laughs> oh right. my、right. god. This is crazy.、Three. Like, you're、yes. gonna need to help me make sure I like catch everything in terms、uh -huh. of like like stuff to talk about. Because I feel like this episode's discussion alone、mm -hmm. could go on for hours. Like, they gave、yeah. us so much info that, like, I feel like it's almost too much. Well, like, and a lot of it was it's, like it's stuff good. that you were. It's so good, but like. Right, and, and a, lot of it are, a lot of it is things that like, were kind of like 
oh, we were aware were, of. Yeah, yeah, like they were already kind and of And it's just all towards. the characters kind of becoming aware of uh, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The big thing that I think is the, the craziest bit is Rod Rice or Race. Mm. I have to come up with a... Oh, how should I say it? Rice? Race? Race. I don't know. Race. I, th- I feel like I have to do race because it's, it's E-I. Yeah, yeah. If it was I-E... I would yeah, be a little bit yeah, surprised. Yeah. I mean, if it was the I sound. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Race, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, Historia's um, father, uh-huh. um, at least I'm pretty sure he's he's yeah. the father. Uh-huh. Um, it, 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 there's, there's nothing I can think of that would be the reason there's, why he's not. Right. The, but yeah. mm-hmm. they're planning to have someone eat Aaron. Now, here's mm-hmm. the thing that's um, curious about the whole um, consuming you know, whole whole mechanics there, uh-huh. is that we know what happens when Emir, a titan, who is, you know, she was she was injected, like right. those soldiers had, like, little, like, little syringes, syringes yeah, and yeah. stuff. She was just some mindless titan, right? Right. Like, I think, I think, basically, I feel like I am aware of about, like, 90% of how this works, and I feel like I need to get the next 10% here. Gotcha. The show is kind of helping us by having, like, even in the mid-credits thing, being like, no, this is legit. This is how it works. Oh, and yeah. it's it's something where I I like to distrust the exposition just enough to mm-hmm. theorize and speculate as to people just being in the dark about how things work. But when the right. show kind of it's tells like, us this, is, what this is. is how it is, I'm like, okay, uh-huh. good. My theory was, you know, based on good evidence, so therefore it was, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. it ended up being correct. But the thing that's different is that there's there's Titan consuming a person with titan powers right Mm -hmm. and it basically just transfers it's like a lineage thing there you go sure it it just it just it just goes um Mm -hmm. the thing that's interesting though Uh is could you have like do you have to have that person be a titan it does the consuming does a titan have to consume... What, like uh, an impersonated pers- person in some kind of cannibal person, thing? And that was... Uh, a person ate the um, the person who could change into a titan. What would happen? I think... I, I, don't, I don't think something would happen, but I think the fact that that combination hasn't uh-huh. been mentioned in the story well, and hey, feels a little bit odd. Also, well, I, think it's a ri- I think it's a little bit of a stretch to say that they have a titan. Like the 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 royals, basically, uh-huh. or even the secret society behind them, or whatever. The idea that they have a titan, I believe more so actually that they have someone that can shift into a titan. Right. Yeah. But if they're saying they have a titan, what I think they more or less might actually have is they might have something that can turn someone into a titan. Like they have one of those syringes. Yeah. But here's the thing that the whole syringe thing kind of just triggered my head. This is so mm-hmm. this is so stupid mm-hmm. and stuff. Is that um, uh, Aaron's father? Mm-hmm. Uh, he was the one that uh, you know most likely was was the one that you know helped Aaron become a Titan and stuff. Yeah. But the syringe isn't what makes you into a Titan shifter. The syringe is what turns you into a Titan. So that means that Aaron's dad was probably the Titan Shifter. You know. Okay. Like Aaron mm-hmm. basically turns into a Titan. Yeah. Eats his dad. His dad's crying cuz he's going to die and he's basically uh-huh. saying, "You have to take this and go and do what I could not." Gotcha. So okay. what I feel yeah. like I feel like Aaron's dad was is he was probably someone that like was trying to hide and trying to stay hidden and stuff. And maybe, maybe something happened, and he wa- he 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 needed to, you know, give this to Aaron. I, I'm not sure. I, I think we're we're not clear as to why he did this, right. but but mm-hmm. um, I think the show basically just told us that because that's the way the mechanics work, and because we haven't discussed the whole, you know, consumption of a human eating a Titan shifter. Oh oh right. Yeah, the only potential connection there would be when Hanji mentioned the cannibals um, when she named the two titans after Sonya. Oh, and the, that's right. But but that, that is, that is right. literally the only time cannibalism has but ever been But the thing is, is that that, that thank you so much for bringing that up because I would never have 
remembered that without like going back and rewatching season one. Mm-hmm. But that's a kind of seeding thing that's really good in stories is when you drop basically nonchalant like connotations to mm-hmm. a plot point later as like a well yeah it's it's kind of a dark thing but like if human beings got to the post apocalyptic scenario right. where there they would be a point where there would be a point where someone would probably fall yeah. into cannibalism it's sure. disgusting but like i i think that mm-hmm. makes sense but but hey now we have a mechanic built around cannibalism now titan cannibalism but sure. but that still brings up the thing we talked about in the previous one where um you know where we then you know brought back all the stuff that was mm-hmm. uh ymir and bertolt's conversation about how the titans going around eating people for you know predations purposes mm-hmm. not for you know sustenance right is probably them just hoping that they can attain their humanity again it's like instinctive sure. yeah yeah so makes sense mm-hmm. the thing is is that what do the secret people have do they have basically right. a syringe they have knowledge like, well yes they have knowledge that's true they know things that we don't and i think this episode was also seeding that in a very overt way yes well i mean they they literally brought up how oh yeah this person started telling stories that might have been true and they didn't want that to happen so they had them killed well well yes but they're also seeding that like everything we know is a lie basically it's a it's a it's a it's a dangerous thing to do story wise mm-hmm. because one of the things about exposition is that you build trust with your audience when the story affirms the exposition when the exposition told tells them that previous exposition is a lie then you go oh interesting interesting but then you have to basically validate that Uh, by saying that the exposition given originally made sense to be given at all based on the way the story was progressing well uh, don't worry about that Uh, no 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 i'm not i'm not worried about that i'm just saying that like Mm -hmm. this is kind of the attack on titan risky kind of storytelling thing that gets me kind of go ooh yeah. like well, yeah, and they, what's, they set what's that going to lead get-go, to like the whole idea of like you know asking questions what's outside the walls and all that stuff that's what Attack on Titan's all about right so you yeah. know yeah the fact that they're I, I feel like I, I totally see what you mean and I could see that being a real issue if that was something where they spent a lot of time basically telling the audience what the official story kind of is right so that because that then you have to up. you have to you have to basically use other forms of exposition to counteract the old stuff but yeah and it's just if, general time that ends up being wasted right but this story like this like we're three episodes in like the way they've they've gone through the story thus far is extremely quick like there's a lot yeah. of things happening that i'm really glad i'm like I was so invested into Attack on Titan season one and two mm-hmm. that I feel like I, I'm prepared for season three to just, just, just blow, just blow my mind with like way tons, like almost too much mm-hmm. stuff. Um, we got Historia's backstory. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> we got, I couldn't help myself. We've got uh, Irwin's backstory, which mm-hmm. I, I want to briefly mention. Irwin's there was some there was some interesting verbiage mentioned oh around the whole like around the uh, whole theory of what the king the, did to like to, right the memory like, thing. like to do stuff with the memories yeah specifically get, saying memory as opposed to like changing the official story or whatever right i i have to keep that in the back of my mind because that's something that i'm like well wait a minute wait a minute right like the father was talking to a kid mm-hmm. okay so the father's talking to the kid the kid could have misinterpreted what he said taken it a specific way yeah. or only heard specific parts of it and sure. and uh, Irwin just remembers yeah. the general theory. Right. But the thing is, is that that's, like, the, saying it that way sounds yeah. like the kind of thing that actually pokes at a plot hole that I think is kind of interesting about um, Attack on Titan, is that they've only been here for a hundred years. years. Right. And, and it's like, yeah. how the bloody hell did the walls with Titans inside of them become walls in a hundred years? There's no well, way. Well, well, or or how did people forget how they got became there in a hundred years? Unless either either, because um, what what that basically means is is at a hundred years the the hundred years ago the walls would have been finished and the people move in, right? right? What I what I think it more likely mm-hmm. is is that like this city here mm-hmm. is like like they just just like discovered it or something. 
Like, sure. Like the idea that the um, uh, the, the idea that the walls were a gift. It was basically like, oh, God has granted us a right, safe right. haven from the Titans. And maybe, maybe that's the thing that's actually a little bit, you know, more interesting mm-hmm. is that the walls, uh, you know, are huge. It's everywhere. There's right. three layers and everything. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe there are some people like that were like always living in there or something like that. Um, I do think, though, it's it's very interesting how the walls themselves... I'm about to go really deep here in uh-huh, weird theories uh-huh. and stuff. The walls kind of mention, by not saying anything, the fusion of human and titan potential. And then the whole story centers around people with titan abilities. Say that again. Basically, the walls, by mm-hmm. having titans inside them, right. showcase are a visual form of storytelling of uh, what yes. humans and titans together can, can are capable of. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And this story centers around what people with, like, specific people, or at least the movers and shakers on both the kind of the right. antagonist side and the protagonist uh-huh. side, have yeah. titan yep. shaping abilities. Sure. Um, Shape shifting mm-hmm. right. into titan yep. abilities. Yep. 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 So it's, it's something where I'm like, okay, I think the show either mistranslated and it's mm-hmm. not supposed to be memories i almost feel like if it is a mistranslation that it's like <laughs> that it's a bigger deal than it's supposed to be right because because it's like yeah, wait a minute memories, that theory memories. doesn't correlate to the data in which he was telling us via the backstory right well okay and okay and so I'm, I'm like i don't know what take, to make of that let's take both on the one hand if you're talking about just history books and stuff yes things that happened 100 years world war one like, we know that World War One happened. Right. Right? But as far as, like, details and stuff... Right. If no you, one that we know that is alive right. has any memory of World War yeah, I. Yeah, exactly. Because in order... Like, like we would have lost that probably two generations ago. Like, like for, well, like... No, no, no. They're... Like, like yeah. of, like, detailed memories. Like, because, right. you know, where, where okay, they, they weren't, like, a kid, so they... they were very much aware sure. of like what was happening, you know, and it's a localized area of the world, exactly, even though it was yeah. a world war. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. But the thing is, is that someone would know, right? And that's the kind of thing that I think I've always kind of let be a, oh yeah, who like don't think too hard about like specific things about Attack on Titan because mm-hmm. it's not all supposed to make perfect sense under a lens. But now they're bringing it up like, oh, you thought this was a plot hole? Just wait. It's a plot reveal waiting to happen. Yeah, and well, like and, and if, Jacob and over here, like, like you're like, like secrets hidden, intensifying, like <laughs> screaming internally, <laughs> like probably, like that's the kind of thing where I'm going, okay, putting a pin in that. Mm-hmm. I'm remembering that. Well, but but, but yeah. let's but let's move on because well, well, I don't think there's anything to be gained actually but, from. But you want to talk about well, the other well, just, alternative. Well, no, I, yeah, basically that if, you, if you're doing it from the side of the history books, right, uh-huh. you could potentially do that and it would take a while. And if you have people that are going around, like, keeping things quiet, um, then... Keep, not everyone's in the scouts. People will live a long time. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I, I like, get that. Like, no. three generations, that's it. That's a yeah. hundred years. Yeah. Three generations can be alive all it, at the same time. Are, isn't a generation usually more like... Like, well, is it, it, it's, well, yeah, it's, it's, is, it's lower, but yeah. the point is, yeah, yeah, is that yeah, yeah. there are outliers and people live long. I get right, this right. is a post apocalyptic setting. Uh, yeah, yeah. And sanitation isn't going to be very good. People medication, living a long time and all that. Yeah. yeah, maybe the average age is down to like uh-huh. 60. Right. Or maybe even lower. Maybe yeah. it's but, like 48. Mm-hmm. But, the, but the point is, is that it's the kind of thing where all you would need is people to basically be like, Oh yeah, we scribble this down in the family journal and we don't tell anybody about it. Right, right. Now exactly. maybe that's the thing. No one talks about it. Uh-huh. A lot of people have memories sure. of it. And and what was it? Um but Armin maybe, Armin at the very beginning of the show having the books, you know, that yeah, like that, that were, were the, illegal. The, the illegal books. So, you know, yeah. it could be that things like that exist and and no one sp- no one talks about it because they don't want people to know that they have it. So, so it information up, doesn't circulate. So information yeah. doesn't circulate, and because of that, it could end up not lasting very long because it just sticks within a family sure. or something like that. But, but the military police but, don't operate that big, do they? Like, no, it doesn't seem to be. And it is interesting, though, that now that we bring up the military police and the fact that there's now going to be this potential like uprising within the scouts and potentially even the garrison with Pixis involved, that the... Uh, the 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 blah. the military police have called from the top ten of the people that have 
ODM gear skills constantly throughout the years, basically to keep the best of the best on their side in case there ever was some kind of a conflict of sorts. Yeah. Which yeah. I find to be very interesting uh -huh. Uh -huh. in that yep. basically the military police are playing with fire by having the scouts exist. But they need to give humanity something that they need, something that they need to fulfill their desire to discover. So right, the scouts, they don't turn inward. Right, but the thing is, the scouts keep getting sent out basically to die, so that the people that, you know, do have the desire to discover, mm -hmm. just get weeded out. And you know what? This is sure. really like sickeningly sounding like population control. This is the kind of thing where you keep the city hey, from ever getting too big. I mean, but also the food the is of, a problem. Yeah, but also the kind of thing where you think about like. How would we keep control of this populace that are human beings that need to know? They they have the desire. Right. Curiosity mm -hmm. is yep. a human yep. inborn trait. You exactly. Can't, you can't weed it out through yep. natural. The selection. fact that they they focused on that for Aaron was one of the big things early on that made him such a a memorable character. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's good that that is like an integral part of his character. Now, granted, I actually kind of like how much of the story is happening not directly connected to Aaron. Uh -huh. um, it makes the world feel bigger. Makes right. it feel it's, like it's a world. It's this thing where it's like, okay, we acknowledge that he's a plot piece kind of a thing. You yeah. Know? He's he's a token. He's a titan shifter that is, you know, within the walls. He is a player in the overall right. grand conflict. But he is not. And he is just a player. He, he is, is not just the player. a player, and he is not the one making the decision. <laughs> well, poor it's guy not, has right. his... <laughs> has himself tied up. He's got his teeth like locked in. Yeah, by some so kind he can't of weird even. So he can't thing. even. Well, well, the the idea, like, yes, I get it. So, so he can't tighten shift. shift. Yeah, yes, yeah, I know. I yeah. totally get it. <laughs> yeah. It also looks like the kind of thing that was designed for, not just Aaron. Meaning that to make something like that, they, they probably had it, they had, had, it had it beforehand. Beforehand yeah. for others. All Possibly. I'm saying. All I'm saying is that there's. <sighs> We're gonna get to meet the weird people. Like basically, <laughs> like like okay, we talked about this actually in the the intro bit, but now I'm like I'm definitely like this is what this is what's happening. So uh -huh. the Fritz guy, mm -hmm. he's a fraud. He's, yeah, on he's the totally Fritz. a fraud. Yeah, but the thing is, is he is someone. I'm not going to go down the theory route where he is literally a puppet, like in right. Bossing Say. He didn't where actually like go head. to the 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 House of the Dead and turn train to be an assassin so that he could be no one. He is someone my my point uh -huh. is is that he's old mm -hmm. for one i Does think that be? i think that the alchemist vibe i got from him makes perfect sense i would not even be surprised if he's actually the one that's the titan and that's probably why he's you know in that why he has that itself. like disinterested look on his face kind of a thing. right right like it's the kind of thing where you'd go like oh like um Actually, that's a very good point. Hold on. No, no, they're different. What? Okay. The the person that came out of the Beast Titan. Yeah, totally different. Totally yeah, different. Yeah. 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 <laughs> for a second, I, I was we like, I went over this in one of the earlier episodes. Yeah, actually. yeah. But for a second there, I was like, wait a minute. No. Is it? No, they're not the same. No, they're not uh, the same. Yeah. Very clear. So it's very different. Very different. No. But also, he wears glasses, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. He wears glasses. Glasses. Yeah. Yeah. means they're completely different people. <laughs> it somehow didn't break inside a Titan. <laughs> I mean, Aaron's key. Traveled that's, all sorts of places. Yeah, but anyways, that's anyways, solid metal. Point is, yeah. um, with this whole thing now happening, mm -hmm. we now have a bunch of moving parts. And whenever ensemble casts have lots of moving parts... You turn into uh, Sasha with uh, meat. Uh, I'm so <laughs> happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to get good. But I think, though, we're about to move more towards a little bit of an action-centric bit. Probably in a couple episodes. I mean, it does seem... To, I mean, okay, okay. Like, we haven't talked about this yet, and I feel like that's kind of atrocious. Okay. But they actually dropped the overthrow the government line. Yes. Like, totally. Like, totally. They, like, they did that. Also, wasn't he in the military police custody already? Erwin? Um, they, they brought him in for some questioning. And he was like house arrest. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something like so that. So wait, so wait. He was released at that point? And uh, yeah. Yeah, but it was basically... So that's how him and Pixis could even have that conversation. Right, right, exactly. Okay, um, but that now, part but, seemed a little bit like like, like we didn't see that transition. They, they, they're moving things at a clip. Like, okay, hey, cool, so cool. there was a point when they basically gave him back his effects, and they're like, okay, yeah, you know, whatever. And, it was and they're like, like oh, no, nope, you're arrested again. Right, right. It was, it was kind of one of those things of like, hey, remember who's in charge kind of a thing. 
Um, okay. But now so, it's like, okay, the scouts are all like, you right. know, to be rounded up. And this isn't the 21st century, so there are no bugs in his room or anything. But the fact right. that he dropped that line so casually, I felt like that was meant mostly for us. And right. It's in not. Case, it's not. It's not immersion breaking, but it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, so what else was in the letter? Right. Because. Well, mm-hmm. Because and, Pixis is the one that probably has enough military power under his name. At least certainly in trust. Yeah. Well, or, I mean, enough to basically, like, have a say in the way things move and flow. Also, Possibly. this is a big city. Like, yes. it's, you know, if they, like, sort of like, oh, we're going to have the garrison move some people right. into the interior uh, for uh, <laughs> uh, reasons. Yeah, or, yeah, exactly. They have ODM gear. They can just vault over the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's the thing wall. is that they're talking about a nonviolent way that they will put mm-hmm. Historia on the throne as the queen. Yep. And I'm like, you think no one's going to die? Like no one's going to fight? Like- I think when Erwin says no one's going to die, he's like it's going to be with an acceptable losses. <laughs> it's not going to be open war and is genocide. Cold. Like here's hey, the th- yeah, he's a gambling man. He's a gambling man, but yeah. the thing is is that Erwin gambles with people's lives. Yes. And you didn't he, notice that. Well, well no, no, no we, we know that. No, I'm, I'm just reaffirming that so uh-huh. just to yeah. know I'm on track with everything mm-hmm. here. But the thing is now that we know his motivations and stuff, mm-hmm. this is very personal. Yes. And that's the kind of thing where people can make really big mistakes. Mm-hmm. Not only the kind of things that hurt them, but hurt others. Well, and especially in someone's case like Especially Irwin's. in someone's yeah. case like Irwin's and I liked that Pixis said, we should not be the ones to decide this. Mm-hmm. Because I think in the time skip little tr- scene transition bit, he had told him his backstory with his father. Yeah. And it was a clever editing choice to basically show that, hey, we will tell you the backstory bit, but we're going to cut things in a specific way so that once he says that, you're like, oh, why? And then later we ex- we tell you why so that you go, oh, He's not only explaining that for Pix is saying, like, yeah. I shouldn't be doing this because I'm a military guy and it'll look like a military coup, but also you probably shouldn't do this either because you have a beef with the government. <laughs> and you might make a decision that is good for your personal temporary feelings, mm-hmm. but not necessarily good for everyone. Right, and we need the full eyebrow game. Yes, but can we talk also about the Historia? We were doing this all out of order, but yeah, Historia's yeah. backstory, um, I'm going to keep calling it that until... The, the end of time but the, okay. the thing is is that when we saw I think it was Kenny I think it was Kenny no it was Kenny someone who looked like Kenny no, it yeah Kenny. it looked like Kenny he wasn't on Rod Race's side there nope. he was someone else that came in and stuff uh huh but I thought that in the previous episode they were saying that Rod Race moved against the scouts and yeah. they had done he had, he had like taken the initiative for that so after that point did oh okay let me correct on. you on something am i going wrong on something so so this was back before krista aka historia yeah. even joined the military yes so this was like three years ago or something well, was it it was it was more than that it was yeah yeah was five more, years ago uh was, right right yeah yeah seven, yeah, even, yeah, it was, yeah it was like five years ago yeah because they said it was shortly after the fall of all maria yeah right. it was five years ago okay so um the uh they hadn't moved against the scout regiment at this point. No, 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 no. Yeah. I get it. I'm saying that the allegiance of Kenny in mm-hmm. relation to uh, to Rod Race yes. seems like he was the one. It, it seems like from this pers- from my perspective here uh-huh. that Rod Race was the one that is controlling Kenny in this case. He's the okay. one that sicked them on the scouts like a like okay. sicked the mad dog on them basically. Sure. Uh-huh. But in the past. It seemed like there was someone else basically saying like, "Hey, hey, Rod, Rod, yeah, stop are misbehaving. You, are you yeah. misbehaving? Do we have to sick the mad dog on you? Yeah. What happened in between there, where mm. now Rod has potentially, it seems like, Kenny at his beck and call? Oh. That just seems like a little bit of cognitive yeah, dissonance, that's, a little that's bit of something that I'm like, what, what, what happened in between? Mm-hmm that time there you were being very very auspicious suspicious and and stuff but yeah. I, I i can't read you so that's that's good um but there's something there i just yeah. wanted to i just wanted to make sure that people know that i i noticed i noticed something there um cool. but that also is is curious then mm-hmm. whose orders was kenny under at that point 
because it, as far as we know, Fritz, King Fritz, is a fraud. Mm-hmm. So at that point, was there some kind of a a thing where the race family was the true royal family, but Fritz and his people were kind of, you know, keeping them shut up and hidden and hidden away so that it's like, ah, yes, they are the true royal family, and we will use them as pawns if we need to. But until that time, they must be quiet. They must be hidden away on farms where no one will ever see them and stuff. They must be not seen and not heard. Right. But Rod seemed like he was above that he wasn't at the farm that's my point is uh, that right yes, why yes. why is he not at the farm they were he is royalty uh-huh and but, he was he was gonna take them to go live with him right but there's other people who are like mm, they're yeah, like mm, nah, mm, yeah i don't, don't think like so that. i don't yeah. think so 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 uh-huh. it feels like there's some weird middleman negotiating power that race has that we're not aware of mm. yeah because there's there's multiple tiers of players that I'm becoming more and more aware of, and it feels actually very Game of Thronesy. I, I kind of like it, like like the politics aspect of Attack on Titan had always been in the background, kind of yes. subtle surrounding Irwin more or less. Whenever he kind of did something crazy, sure, and people were or like, when, "There's going to be blowback." Like, yeah, or when like <laughs> uh, when the kids were training and they were wondering about things like why are they taking the people that are the best and putting them on the back lines and. Or right. having the worst people at the front, and you know, yeah, all that stuff. This is one of the things that I think is also kind of interesting: is we realize that we are not in uh, uh, blah, blah, the Titan uh, Shifter people that came. Reiner, Reiner, Bertolt, Bertolt and Ymir. Ymir. No, 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 not Ymir. Um, Annie. <laughs> well, well, right. Well, they're right, but I'm including Ymir in this and stuff. Oh, gotcha. Uh, but, but specifically, Annie. Yeah, you're right. They came here. For their whole, you know, mission or, or what have you. Sure. And they had, a, they had a fourth member and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And Munch. they're they're going after the, the, the coordinate and stuff. Um, at the very least, they know about it and, and things like that. Mm-hmm. But it seems like there's so many actual players involved in the story that at some point, at some point, mm-hmm. we're going to get a doozy of a, like, spiderweb exposition, like, connective kind of thing here. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to keep this, like, really fast drip feed going, uh-huh. like, for a long really time. Really fast and I, drip I, feed. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It basically, it's be like, there's a, there's a constant kind of, yep. you know, of just really good plot reveals happening. Mm-hmm. And I hope I can keep up with it. That's basically, that's basically, be fine. either they're going to deluge us all at once, or there's just going to be this, like, machine gun, just, of, like, Reveals, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that too. Um, what were some of the big things that that you noticed that were like, like discussion worthy, um, kind of things that? Well, like, Hanji's were... moment with the with the dude in the aftermath of the torture, I thought that was very yeah. poignant, very great. Um, it it's... sets up also to show that she is a capable leader, and uh, then yes. when well, yeah. Erwin yeah. makes uh-huh. her the leader of the yeah, scouts, that, it's like, see, that's that's oh. the th- mm. Hanji, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got my arm behind my back. You just can't uh-huh. see it. Right, right, right. right well, well, stuff. yeah. It's like Hanji, and then also Irwin. Like, what, what, what is going to happen yeah. with him? And like, like his eyebrows are powerful. You know, like he's able to. And he's just you know, one man. But, but yeah, he's just two, got, I, two eyebrows. Two eyebrows and just one arm. So you know, like, I mean, <sighs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I really liked how they basically reaffirmed that it's like okay, that you know, in the, in the. Surveycon Legiment, yes. right? We've got these players like Levi and Erwin and Hanji, and they're awesome. We love yeah. them, right? They keep the kids safe. They keep the you know keep everything moving, but they're not necessarily great people or like yeah. role models as far as like morality and stuff. Because this is right. it. Hanji behind closed doors is different than Hanji with the scouts, basically that she needs to lead. She needs uh, to I, present it. Well, no, I I know that she's probably one of the most honest individuals yeah, yeah, in the entire like, show. I don't know. But I'm saying that even Hanji, even Hanji, she has to get a little dirty and well, right. know, and that's, discard some elements of her humanity here and right, there. Right, exactly. In order that's, to, something, that's something that you they know, achieve her goals. You know, anytime Armin basically brings something up, that means it's something that's a focus. So, like, you know, him talking about the whole thing of, like, discarding humanity and all that stuff, like, from 
uh, the the first season, the end of the first season, and yeah. then him with the whole his whole idea with like Bertholdt in season two. Yeah, right. I feel like this is a great continuation of that because it's showing that the leaders they've already had those conversations with themselves a long time ago, and they're like, yeah, we're in we're in dire straits, interesting circumstances, so right. we're gonna be doing some things that yeah. you know we wouldn't want to have to do, but, but we're still gonna yeah. do it. It's kind you of know. mentioned in the previous episode too, when Levi was kind of shutting down yep. the whole mm-hmm. "Are we good people?" thing. Exactly. You're like, you're, you're like, don't even need to yeah, think yeah. about it. Don't like, think about that right now. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And that was and that was Hanji, not either the time Hanji's or the place comedy, to be emotional. Though, Hanji's comedy though, of just kicking the table and being yeah, like, yeah, it's oh, like, like, it's, it's so pissed. And then and then uh-huh. <laughs> Levi comes in like, she's like, sorry, I'll, I'll clean it up some And he's yeah. like, okay. She's like, like, it was a cockroach. cockroach. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. it's that bit of levity in a dark situation yeah that make that keeps it from getting like too too heavy yeah way yeah. way too <laughs> heavy but hey guys like attack on titan it's got some crazy stuff going on it does. I, I think the final thing that that needs to be discussed is the hyperbolic statements that rod was your face right now you're like you're like oh that <laughs> well i mean there are a lot of statements this this episode were yeah, very, yeah. Like, but i'm extreme. talking about specifically the ones where he's like you will save all, all of humanity. humanity and it's like what do you mean by that exactly yeah yeah like, what, 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 what is all that uh, one of the things about attack on titan as you've come to watch it a lot you mm-hmm. realize that there are certain things that are red herrings mm-hmm. and Anytime they go into hyperbole, it's not a red herring. Like, it's not. It ties to something. It's not necessarily literally what they're talking about. But anytime, anytime, Mm -hmm. anytime. That's why when we go back through the whole thing with, um, uh, you know, Emir and and Reiner and stuff, like, they they were legitimately like, you know, like, Krista, you know. Or at least, at least Ymir was. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She she had this like focus on historia. I think we all know. Why that was. I think we all know I why that was. I think we all know why like, she was. Let's focused let's on be historia. real here. It's a very good element of season two. Yes. But absolutely. I think I think we're about to find out that there was more to it than that. Oh really? Yes, really. Oh really? Yes, yes. Oh. I, I think that specifically, um, the fact that. Emir overheard what some of the the people were talking about and they oh, mentioned gotcha. it like uh-huh. twice I think in season two she might know a lot about gotcha. Historia's okay. Historia I, I won't stop I'm it not won't stopping. make it funny uh, it's a, that's fine I'm not doing it for you I'm doing it for me the, oh, okay. um, um, the, the thing is is that she valued Historia uh-huh. because she cared yep. about her mm-hmm. but I think Ymir's role as a survivor means that uh, Historia was a bargaining chip, but like not like okay, here's my point Aaron would be a great bargaining chip, yes, but she didn't go after Aaron because they wanted you know, they wanted Aaron you know, Reiner and well I'm pretty sure she was saying to help you get Aaron well right, 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 but I'm, I'm saying that individually like you know, yeah. basically, I'm saying that Historia's value as a hostage would be equal to or like just a little bit less than Aaron. And Aaron is like the protagonist. He I, has so much like plot uh-huh. relevance surrounding him. He's a yeah. Titan thing. He has this coordinate uh-huh. thing, all that crazy stuff. Now, she didn't know the coordinate thing at right. the time and stuff. So maybe that would have changed. I think you might be remem- misremembering some of the context of why she was saying that she wanted to go after her story. Okay, okay, um, okay. Uh, I just feel like there's a lot of things that are spiderweb connecting here now, and I'm like, <gasps> ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. ooh. What? Remember okay. that? Remember okay. that? One of the things that I have to bring up from this episode, because it's one of those things that's such a small detail, but mm-hmm. it's terrifying. And it could be one of those things where it's like, okay, that, that's kind of a stupid line, but it could also be like, oh, oh, gee, ah, oh, God, um, is the whole Clause 6 thing. Oh yeah, that was a little bit like, weird. That's like, yeah. mm, like it could just like it could be just considered a throwaway thing of like, yeah. oh, some bullcrap that they pull up or whatever. But like the idea that it's like there's actually a rule where it's like, no, the individual must be sacrificed for you know the good of humanity. And if you I, ever I, put your own needs, you know, like no, as, no, no. as first. I, then... No, no, I get that. I get that. I get that. Actually, like I, I understand why that clause would be put into effect. 
Mm-hmm. I just don't think that's the kind of thing anyone would actually really enforce on an individual level. Right, yeah, yeah. What you yeah. would do is basically be like, hey, the Reeves Corporation, mm-hmm. you are not allowed to make a profit, basically, like beyond a certain amount. Like, you are allowed to do this much, but anything that comes off the top, that goes directly back to the the human government, basically. Sure. That that makes sense, because when you're in the fate of humanity survival things, there's some weird communal decisions that wouldn't work in a free, open society. Right. For a very long time. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. But, but... Yeah. Um, the fact that they enforced it and stuff, I thought was a good kind of, this is where the story is going thematic thing. But you can't distract me that easily. We're going back to that whole thing with uh, Historia being literally someone that can save humanity. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to okay, joke okay. away from that. But no. what the heck? Yeah. How? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. First yeah, thought. It's weird. First right? thought. First thought is she's going to be the one that will um, uh, eat Aaron. She's going to be the one that will be injected with titan uh the titan juice or whatever and then uh they're gonna have her eat Aaron. okay first thought second thought Mm -hmm. it's tied to the fact that she is special more so than like you know like okay I, i get a little bit of an nge vibe like um basically there's the whole thing of like kids that have a lineage aspect of their story okay and you know people are like you're of royal blood you're well, special hey, you when, will save all of humanity when we see when we see the 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 104th all standing in a circle clapping for Aaron, then you know i'm just saying guys like historia being told that now he might be trying to manipulate her. He might be totally trying to yeah, manipulate it's her. It's absolutely a possibility. My point still stands, though, that anytime people throw around hyperbole mm-hmm. of that magnitude, we've never seen hyperbole yeah, yeah, of this yeah. magnitude, that is actually tied to something. It is not just hyperbole designed to manipulate. There well, is something true in what he's saying. Here's another thing that's, like, something to think about. Mm-hmm. Um, we've seen that Mr. Race is up for going behind the backs of whoever are pulling Kenny's strings. Uh... Yes, well, that might be the point where basically you're saying that because he did that in the past, Kenny and him have this weird business relationship. Uh, I okay, so this is one of those things where I just don't remember a lot of the details of this part. So I'm just saying okay. that's something to think about. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, um, I, I think I think you're right. I just have no idea. Like. Yeah, like, like I think that's that's more the area where I'm like, uh, yeah, probably. I I don't know though, so I guess we'll just wait and see. I think though that the Historia stuff with Rod, um, it's going to be it's going to be addressed coming up very soon. Like it's I, going to be it's going so. to be more or less also resolved. I think very soon because they have been moving at a fast pace. Well, not only that, but Levi's really only move right here. Mm-hmm. Is to figure out a way to intercept, um, uh, his, Historia, right, and Rod. And, yeah, because the the way the way they seem to be setting to it up right now is that they know where the race estate is because of talking to Historia. Be, yeah, because of talking to Historia, which seems also a little bit of a stretch because, because she, she a never child. would have seen it. But it could be that the race estate is it's like known, like it's known. It's you just know? huge. Yeah, though. yeah, because he's a lord, right? And so it's like, yeah, of course, it's over there. That's right? another. Thing and then it's that just that no one knows he's actually royalty, so no one really cares too much. Now I don't know if I miss this or I misinterpreted it, but there was some other hyperbole thrown around uh, that Rod said. Now double you know mm-hmm. we might have to go and double check the episode and rewatch it to make sure i'm right here but did he say something like the place where it all began he did yes he did it i was wondering if you were going to bring it. that up oh you were yes you were just gonna not say anything if i didn't bring it up weren't you yeah why not yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so what was brought up in terms of a beginning this episode thematically oh i don't know we talked about the history of uh, humanity's uh, livelihood behind the walls. Yes, yes, yes. Where it all began. Hmm. It could be the family. It could be uh, this whole, you know, conflict. <laughs> this or is what where have you, you came from. It could actually just be 
the Titans. Like, it could be where the Titans began. Maybe the Titans literally began um, the racist state. Who knows? But what I think it is, what I think it is, is where it's basically that the, the, the truth that the lies are basically created to hide, mm -hmm. a huge portion of it started where they're going. Okay. And their goal, mm -hmm. as basically stated by, you know, bringing up the mechanics of the whole Titans eating Titan uh, shapeshifters and stuff, mm -hmm. basically that where they're going is going to be one of, like, one of, like, monumental importance in not only the story moving forward, mm -hmm. but in understanding how this whole titan shape-shifting kind of thing ever probably became a thing. So, guys, crazy stuff afoot. Yep. I yep. feel like I could go on forever, but I'm just throwing darts at a dart board yeah, that's they're... actually a barn wall, and I don't know where the dart board is. <laughs> That's but a I'm, that's I'm, a pretty I'm, good analogy. I'm, like. I'm hitting some pretty good spots though, because I feel like the show isn't making it as subtle as they used to. Well, they're just going we got places so quickly. to go. Yeah. Like oh. we're like we're going, going, going. Let's do this. Yep, yep, yep. But yep. hey, it's fun. It's awesome. You seem to be having a lot of fun. I am. This is this is okay because I've said this before, but the the section of the manga that this was taken from was not one of my favorite sections because coming out month to month, mm -hmm. you know, the, the first episode is like five chapters or something. So imagine. <laughs> five <laughs> months to get the first episode of this season wow and then another four or five months to get the next episode of this season jeez it was a bit you know it dragged on it dragged on yeah i hear you but but this but this because because they they like they still did some awesome things but it was just like okay like taking a bit too long so so you're having so fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Like, Sweet. like I, I don't want to say, like, whether I think I'll like, how I'll like this one in relation to, like, season one and season two, because that's so hard to do, because season one, nostalgia and all that stuff in season two, I just, I love season two so much. Yeah. But, like, but with how they've been changing it, this, this will be in my top three Attack on Titan seasons thus far. I guarantee it, because it's that good. Even, you know, more so than future seasons, basically. Because right, oh, that, no, no, that no, neither no. can be interpreted as a joke. joke basically, uh, was, saying that there's it was only entirely a joke. Yeah. <laughs> basically, he just low key confirmed that the show ends after this season. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's blowing my mind so much. They're just going. So... <laughs> you never know. You never know. Like, who knows? All right, guys. This is the crazy stuff. This is one of the longest Attack on Titan episodes we ever yeah. do. Thank you for any of you that stuck through to the end of the discussion. Yep. Uh, if you want to watch full length reactions of uh, basically the episode portion of this. Go check out the link in the description below mm -hmm. for our Patreon. Yes. Uh, you can get also in the discussion aspect in our Patreon-only Discord. Any level of support gets you access to that. And, and you can I chat can with be us. in the actual spoiler section. That's true. Because I read the manga. Which is a unique experience reserved only for, what's the other show? Your Lion April, basically? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I yeah. didn't read the manga of that. But, but, but yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. If any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. Wait, wait. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.